Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be going over the Pad 4 by Siemens, mostly having to do with the Power Boost circuit. As you can see from my setup, I have a Pad 4 power supply, I have a multimeter, I also have a variable power supply to simulate the batteries which I will be able to vary the voltage up or down to demonstrate the power boost circuit and what it does. So first what we're going to do is we're going to look at the voltage coming into have it plugged in and we're going to check the voltage as you can see we have 120 volts, 116 volts plugged in. Now I'm going to activate the variable power supply to simulate the batteries. And I'm going to make sure that it's properly set to look for DC voltage. And I'm going to show you the voltage that is coming out. It says 24.2 volts at 0 amps, and it's actually measuring 24.0 amps, or volts, which is fully within the you know, variable range of, of the power supply. So what I also have here is I have three speaker strobes, model number SE HMC W. It is a speaker strobe, high multi candela white. As you can see I am only connecting up the strobe circuit. I'm leaving the speaker circuit because I'm not testing the voice at this time. So to activate the strobes I am taking the power out from the aux power and I am putting it into the input one to activate the strobe circuit. That's what this jumper here is for. So let's go ahead and show you the activation of the strobes. So as you can see, I'm not sure if it's going to turn out properly on the video or not, but the strobe is activated. So for the purposes of this video, I will actually be covering over the strobe just so it doesn't interfere with the video itself. And if you look through here, you can also see that both of these other devices are flashing, so all three of them are pulling current and synchronized. So let's go ahead and deactivate this for the time being. Now what I want to simulate is a 120 power loss. So if you take a look and watch, watch the variable meter as I go through and I unplug the power supply, the 120 volts, it now registers that it is giving 0.06 amps at 24 volts. As we measured before, and we can measure again, it is giving 24 volts. Okay? So now, what I want to do is I want to simulate the activation of the strobes. So we're going to activate the strobes and watch the power current as I plug this in. It steps up to 0 0.85, 0 0.82, just over 1 amp. So it is obviously pulling more current from the power supply now that the strobes have activated. And just to sh confirm again, the voltage on this, 24.0. Now, the question you have is, what is this power boost circuit? The power boost circuit literally goes through and it ensures that it is putting out a minimum of 24 volts at the notification circuits, at the terminals. So let's go through and let's measure the terminals. 
as you can see, I'm getting 27, 28 volts out of the terminals. And this is to the notification circuit. As you can see, the wiring is going to the devices. Twenty eight volts. Now, what we're testing for is what happens when the batteries are end at end of useful battery life. And that is per NFPA seventy two eighty five percent listed voltage. So let's take this down to the eighty five percent listed voltage, which is twenty point four volts. Now the other one was off by 0.2 volts, so it should be at 20.6. 20.4 volts even. And just to verify on the power supply itself, twenty point four volts even. Now question is is there enough voltage to the notification appliance circuits? So with that, we're going to look at the voltage that is coming off of the terminals for the notification appliance circuits. So with that, I'm still getting 28 volts. How does that happen when you're only giving 20.4 volts from the batteries or these simulated batteries? That's where the power boost circuit comes in. It takes extra current to activate the power boost circuit, pulls from the batteries, and it ups the voltage to ensure that it has a full 24 volts out. So let's go ahead and take this down even farther. Let's take this down to 18, well, let's, let's take it down to 19 volts, you know, because I, I want to I wanna truly test how good this power boost circuit is. So I'm giving a 19 volts into the power supply, and let's see what the voltage is coming off of the terminals. Still at 28, 27 volts. Constant. 1.03, 1.26, As you can see, it pulls more current. Now, when I take this back up to the 24 volts, you can see that it pulls less current. It's pulling more current at the at the lower voltage to ensure that it has a constant 24 volts minimum out of the terminals. As you can see, the device is still activated, all three of them. I hope this demonstration helps you understand the 24 volt power boost circuit on the pad 4 by Siemens. Thank you very much.